before I um, get this video rolling, I just want to say thanks to you guys. Um, actually, this may be the first part of the video I put on here. It is a big thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos. I haven't been a YouTuber very long. It's been less than a year. And there's frustrations, of course, that go along with that. Those of you that are working on doing this know that. Um, especially if you have a full-time job and you're trying to take care of all that to and do this but I just want to say thanks because one of my videos just hit a hundred views now I know that's not a lot uh, a lot of people out there of course you know you got a million views you got a hundred thousand views you got ten thousand views you got whatever but it's not the video I thought it was gonna be I did a lot of um, if you haven't seen them I did my kayak modification on my motor mods and that one was up to in the 80s. And I thought, oh, that one's probably going to hit 100. But I went fishing with my boy David over in East Tennessee and the Tennessee River. So thanks to you guys for watching that and for getting all that in there. Keep telling people about my channel and then let them decide for themselves if they actually like it or not. And then hopefully I can get some more subscribers. Next year, I'd really like to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year in 2022. That's my goal. So... Let's get there. Help me out. What's up, everybody? I was going to try to get the boat out soon, but haven't been able to get it out on the water. And then I realized the other day that I hadn't even put the decking back on yet, so I can't really take it out right now. I'm going to shoot a little bit of that, and then hopefully I'll add this on when I do get the boat out. So as you can see, it's still all apart. You know, motor's all back together. Motor's working, running great. If you saw the other video, if you haven't, check that video out. That was, man, I was excited about that one. And also, I got to get the deck back on, get the seat put back on the back. Um, I'm going to do some cleaning too. I'm not going to do that probably today. Just don't have a lot of time. But I got to get the, the decking back on and get my little... Um, Got to get my storage compartments put back in. Took those out. I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom of those because I didn't... I, I've seen a lot of tiny boat videos where guys have adapted or um, where guys have fixed their boats up. But I didn't do the channeling that some of them did. I just didn't feel confident enough to do that. A lot of guys have put some kind of type of channels built into the actual framing so that the water, if it did get through, it would drain and drain out. Um, I didn't want to have to attempt that. I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom of the storage compartments and then that way they'll just, the water, if there is, if water does get in it, it'll just drain down and out. And then I won't have to worry about messing around with that at all. So hopefully that'll be the, um, one of the more difficult things I have to do today. I know how to put the deck back on. Um, I couldn't get, I don't, I'm thinking that a lot of the, the weird stuff on the back, um, is not mold or mildew because I've had it out for quite a while and I've sprayed it down and it hasn't disappeared. I'm thinking that it's probably um, just when the, um, as you can kind of see, when the seal that I put on it, once it got kind of wet and stayed moist underneath it maybe, that it just caused it to kind of peel up a little bit or something. I don't know what that is, but it's not mold or mildew from what I can tell. Because like I said, I sprayed it down real good and it didn't disappear. So um, I may sand that down. Probably won't. <laughs> I'm just going to probably just going to ride with it and see how it goes. All right. Well, it's getting late and I've run into another issue, of course. So I'll show you here. Um, let me show you what I got and I'm working with. So I was getting ready to put the back deck on, got the front on. I don't know when my, my other camera battery died. I didn't have my um, external battery attached to it. But anyway, so when I measured all this stuff out, um, when I first installed the deck, I had the tank underneath here, but I didn't have the hose attached. And so I was going based off of this, the cap, and where the cap would sit. And so the cap sits here, and then when I put the, you know, the top, the decking on it, everything's cool. But I haven't had the deck back on it since 
I installed the, the fuel line and of course this tees up and bumps out and I'm a good half inch three quarters um, too high right here and so now I can put the deck back on so what I'm gonna do I thought about doing a couple things and shimming and just kind of patching it and I thought you know I don't want to look all crazy so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna take let me see if I can come around and show you so back here I installed the original deck framing goes here and it mounts underneath this and I can't remember what this is called it catches the water I guess when it flows up and it catches back out anyway what I'm gonna do is to make it easier well in one sense it's gonna be easier instead of trying to shim up everywhere all around then my deck would look weird it would be high on one side and low you know it would just be stupid looking so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this off all the way across to there I'm gonna disconnect all of that and then I'm just gonna mount it somehow and then I gotta figure that out I'm gonna mount it on top of this plate here and that gives me a good three-quarter probably close to an inch higher and it'll be level all the way across I'll take it out decking will lift up basically I'll lift this whole back side of the decking up and set it on top of that and mount it on there probably just have to get some angle iron or angle aluminum and attach it to this somehow and set it on top and go from there and that's the only way I can think of to make it somewhat even all the way across and level so that's what i'm going to do hopefully i can get on that as soon as i can if i get a decent day what's up everybody finally got a decent day to do a little work it's a little windy so i decided not to fish today although it would have been a nice day to fish probably could have walked the creek or something but i got to get this motor done because i really want to get the boat out on the water as soon as possible so let me show you what i'm working with all right hopefully the camera angle is not too weird but I've already taken the rivets out of this when it was set the other direction. So now I've just got to re-drill and get these set on this side and then on the other side. And then I'm going to have to raise the far deck. That little piece over there is going to have to get raised also. I haven't figured that one out yet. Hopefully it's not going to look too weird when it comes back from here. Although you probably can't see that part um, coming back to the back. I'm not going to raise the whole thing. There's no way I can mess with that right now. So we're going to try it this way and see how it goes and hopefully we'll get this rolling. I may have to move the camera because I've got to get in here. Alright, so I got both sides added on, there and there, and I got to lift up the other side. Probably not even going to put that on camera, because I don't, I'm probably just going to try to find a way to shim underneath that somehow. Okay guys, it took me a while to get this done, but I think I finally got the back deck in the right, I don't know, <laughs> I think I got it right. We'll see here in just a minute, I'm going to show you what I've done. Okay, so I've had to elevate the back, which is what I'd shown you before. And you can kind of see that I've added a couple of rails here, and I've added something here. I'm going to have to add another little piece here just to help. This is where the my hatch is, it opens up here. So as long as I've got some support here, I think I'll be okay. I couldn't get all these wires when I hooked them up, and I hooked up to the throttle and everything. I didn't think about 
you know, how these were crisscrossed and it took me forever just to get them kind of rearranged back here. But I think I finally got to where it'll work. Um, otherwise over here, I'm going to have to replace these. They're going up in there, going to my battery. There's dude that had it before. It was just, there's like three different types of wires on that. But I think I've got it set up now to where I can put the, the top back on the top, the, the deck. I mean, so let me, let me show what that'll look like. All right, there it is. I may have to do something here because I don't know what else to do with this. I mean, with this. Because that's my, um, that's my throttle control. And it does move when the motor moves. So if the motor is moving left or right or whatever, let's see if I can show you. That's going to move with it. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I may have to cut a notch in my deck, which I don't want to do, but it won't sit flat if I don't. And it's holding this side up too of the hatch. So that's my hatch. And that's holding that up. So I'm probably going to cut a notch in it. I don't want to, but I've tried cutting a notch, as you can see down here in the aluminum, but with it moving, I didn't want it moving and rubbing up against the aluminum and really messing it up, making, messing the wiring up. So I decided just to, to deal with that and I may just cut a gap in the top of the deck hatch. And I just gotta secure it back down. Should be good to go after that. All right, y'all, that's it for the night. It's getting cooler and cooler tomorrow and the next two days after that are supposed to be really nice. So. Should be out on the water at least once or twice. I've got a little time off, and hopefully I can get out there and get some fishing done, and actually some catching too. So I should be able to finish up the kayak also this week with the um, power pole, everything else. Uh, boat should be ready to go. It'd be great if I could get it out on the water this week, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So keep an eye out. Maybe I can get that done. Hope I see y'all out on the water.